All right. Query big objects. So how can we query big objects? We can query them in two ways. One, using standard SQL, and we can also use a sync SQL. So what is the difference? We can use standard SQL when we want to have an instant result in our UI. So it's not, um, you don't have to wait, but using async, you can query millions of records and it will not time out, but you want to wait. So you want to, to ensure that the query completes, it will not time out, but then you have to wait. And then when it's done, you will get a report when the query is done. You don't need to aggregate queries or filtering outside of the index, okay? So, how to use SQL to query big objects? So, this is querying big objects. It's a bit different than querying standard or custom object. You can use these comparison operators, equal, less than, greater than, less than or equal, greater than, or equal or in. Okay, on the last field in your query. Any prior fields in your query can only use the equal operator. Remember that. That's the rule. Now, all this fancy stuff you cannot use. Not equal, like, so wildcard will not work. Not in, excludes, includes will not work. All right. Operators aren't valid in any query involving big objects. So this is how it's going to look like. Select account C, game platform C, play date C, and this three field has to be defined as an index in the big object. If this three is not an index, you can't query them. The query will fail. Where account equals that, Game platform is PC and play date equals that, all right? So this query will not work because game platform C is not in the query. Um, this, this, and that from that where account and then play date, but there is no game platform C, all right? So how to use async SQL to query big objects? How? There are two main ways to use async SQL to get manageable data set out of a big object. The first is to use filtering. You can use filtering to extract a small subset of your big object data into a custom object. So, for example, and then you can use it on your reports, right? So you have a billion records and then you want to just get or query 50,000 records from that billion and then you put that 50,000 into a custom object or a standard object, right? Why? Because on this standard object or custom object, you can create reports, dashboards and stuff like normally what you cannot using a big object, all right? So forming your query contains the query itself the SQL statement and the target object where you want to put it to afterwards um, and the target field map, okay? So this is an example where you can use um, the workbench. Um, <clears throat> this is the URI you can use. And then you post your request here. You post your request there. And then you will have a response, right? And then you can track the status of your query, just like a async job. You will have a background job. You can check it. Is your query done and stuff? And then you can get the response here if it's a success or not. If it's a success, it will the data will be in the target object. Okay, then it's done, right? So handling errors, you can you can you can handle the error if it happens. All right, that's pretty much it. Let's complete this module with the quiz. Which scenario would async SQL be best used for? You want to run a query, but 
plan to step out for a few minutes? No. You want to access the result immediately? No, you will use a normal circle. You need to run a query against the fields in a big objects index. You need to run a query against millions of records. Yep, that's the one. Which big object fields can you query using standard circle? You can query only the fields defined in the big objects index in the order they define. You can query any field. You can query text. No, you can query any field as long as its name. Is, no, I think you can query only the fields defined in the big objects index. Only those fields you can query. Why should you use standard circle over async circle? If you want to get results immediately, right? That's it. So we have finished the module. Bada bing, bada boom, get the badge. Boom. Woo hoo. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom